continuing to have the global forum here uh, reflects the strong ties between Israel and the AJC global community. AJC has always stood by Israel. The AJC was the first American Jewish organization to establish a full-time office in Jerusalem 60 years ago. We like it when people establish offices and embassies in Jerusalem. You make your voices heard and you build bridges with people in every corner of the world. And that includes all the places that I mentioned and one that I didn't, but I will now, the Muslim world. I find that particularly important and particularly hopeful. Welcome to all of you from Indonesia. Know that we have contacts, among others through the AJC, with many, many in the Muslim world. And that holds the promise of peace. Imagine that they invested it in Ramallah, or for that matter, in Gaza. Imagine what this would do. And I think it would change the world. And the Palestinians could aspire to, to become scientists and doctors. Instead, they erect statues to mass murderers. That's what they have. Do you see that here anywhere? No. It's never been about a Palestinian state. It's always been about the Jewish state. Recognize the Jewish state, stop paying terrorists, and invest in peace. We are committed to preventing Iran from ever acquiring nuclear weapons. We're committed to rolling back Iran's aggression in the region. We will not let Iran entrench militarily in Syria to threaten Israel as they openly say they will. We are acting in self-defense, but in so doing, we're also protecting the entire world from Iran's aggression, and we will continue to do so. Israel. This is our goal and this is our policy. And that's why I hope you'll visit the pluralistic prayer space at the Western Wall. You should visit it. We're enlarging it. We're making it accessible so anybody can pray at the Western Wall.